So in this video I'm going to give you a quick getting started guide to using OneNote in Office 365. Now the easiest way to do that is to log into the console and then select the option to go to your OneDrive. Now your OneDrive is your personal file storage location. Now once we're here we're going to go into new and we're going to select the option here for a OneNote notebook. Alright so what we're going to do is give this something a name. All right, so we'll give our notebook a name and then that will create it and open it in the browser for us. Okay, so maybe we want to use this perhaps for a bit of a diary. So let's go in here and give this a few months maybe, and then we'll add some uh, information in there. All right, so to do items. All right, now we can continue to work on this in the web. We can share it with others if we want, but perhaps we want to open it on the desktop. So the way we do that is we select the open in desktop option up the top here, and that will then launch the OneNote 2016 for us. I'll be prompted here because I've logged into Chrome. So I select that, and then I select to accept the security uh, dialog. All right, so now it's going to go out to uh, the Office 365, my OneDrive, it's going to pull down that OneNote, it's then going to synchronize it with my desktop, as you can see here. All right, so once we've done that, we can then start adding information to uh, both locations. Okay, so we've got our OneNote here. You'll see that I can go over here and, for example, add more pages, right? And then let's go to September and type in some things to do for uh, this month, okay? And then if we give it a, a moment, what we'll see is that that will then synchronize back up to our web version. We'll notice that it's synchronizing here, the little green uh, circle there indicates that it is updating. So if we go back to our browser, all right, and we select to uh, close this, so we go back and have a look, we'll see that, you see that September is already there and our text will be there as well. So basically now we can continue to work on our OneNote directly in our desktop application and it will have all changes automatically synchronized up to our OneDrive and Office 365. All right, so the way that we can see the ribbon, if we select the uh, icon and then go to the extreme right here and hit the little pin tab, you'll see that'll pin uh, the um, ribbon bar for us so we can work on uh, things much easier using that, okay? So it was nice and easy for us to go in and to create a new OneNote. We did that by going to New and then selecting our OneNote Notebook. We then created that, added some information on the web, and then we selected to download that. And it automatically did that and then launched it in OneNote on the desktop for us. Now, the great thing here is if I close the desktop version and if I go in and try and start OneNote again, so I'm going to start OneNote on my desktop here. Okay, so you'll see OneNote 2016, I select that, it will launch the desktop app and you'll see that it takes me straight back to that notebook. So really handy. Now remember that you can have OneNote not only on your desktop, also on your Mac, also on all of your mobile devices. So there is an application, OneNote application that will synchronize information between all locations. So the central repository is your OneDrive for business. That's always kept up to date and synced. And you can view and update the OneNote directly on any device and desktop that you currently use. So hopefully that's been some handy hints on how to get started with OneNote in Office 365. I thank you very much for watching the video.